just like Let, get right in there. Unless, is that a bamboo there? Steve's yep. suggestion is to he's take still, a miskin where there's he's not. Still, nah, he said it's fine. Okay. The update, I asked. He said, if you can get as close to the wall as possible, within three meters. Miskin. Our first niskin of the day. Um, I'm just gonna start yeah, listing finally, off things finally I see. Yeah, finally dense enough to uh, justify it. All right. Just gonna start writing things that I'm seeing. Yes, please, because that would help with description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw. I might be missing some stuff, but um, I don't think it matters which one. It's you can fine. Choose. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm having her too. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Uh, I assume we're not gonna pop Molly. I'm just gonna go for five instead of starting on the end because it's easier to see. That's fine. If that's okay. Yep. Got it. Thank you. Boom. Sweet. Sample. Oh, it's trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Where are those sensors, huh? Yeah. Well, I said you know. wanted it right Hanging next over to it. Cliff, so <laughs> they, don't, they don't really work. Okay. So. What's our depth now? 1850? 1865. We're in that, we're in that, well, yeah, in that sweet range for uh, corals. Temperature's up to 2.4. Whoa. Okay. Quite the increase. Yeah. So we are about 130 meters from the, like, middle of the top, but the end of the sled should be about 60 meters. The end of the slope. So do we want to stay here longer or start moving? Well, we got. Let's take one more look around at these coral, this diversity of corals, just yeah. to see if there's something new that we missed. I think I saw a black crinoid in there. Um, yeah, we can just take a quick glance. Yep, there's that hemichorallium. So small. Our bamboos. Different bamboos from that gold one. There might have been a, well, I don't know yet. I guess let me hold my tongue until I see it. A retigorgia in there, very small. Bamboo, this S1, Bamboo is having a blast, taking over the entire space. Sure um, Quite Ophiroids. a variety, yeah. Good diversity. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I'm not seeing too much more. That might be... No, I think that's still... I mean, Corallium, I think it just broke off. Can you keep working your way to the to your left, Michael? Mm, or is I don't there think not much? This is kind of an interesting ledge here. Yeah. I can move the ship forward a little bit. Um, Give more tether. Honestly, I don't think there's much more than this. No. Um, yeah, that's the maybe end a bit above, but yeah. Looks like all the same layers that we've been seeing. So yeah, we can just keep going um, up this way if we're able. Okay, yeah, we'll may just maybe climb it and... Uh, yep. Or we're... Oh, wow. Yeah, look at My that. My goodness. Oh, that's 
got a pinkish. Okay. How come the still cam got so dark? I4 played bamboo in the background. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Eritogorgia magnus spiralis. Um, looks like a, yep, two of them. One is way denser than the other one. You want to zoom on any of it? Uh, just do a general zoom in the center is fine. All right, go ahead. Get a pretty, <laughs> pretty close up. So pretty. Wow. Yeah, these are huge. Okay. So, oh, this prim, no, it's not doing too hot, but it's okay. Um, zoom out. Okay, go wide. You can see the current moving, mm -hmm. flowing here. All right, and I think we're good for this area. There's a, got a greenish one near the back there, too. Yeah. Okay, full wide. Greenish. You are full wide. Come up on Atlanta a little bit. I'm going to no. go right under you there. Yep. Seems like we're getting towards the top now, actually. Yeah. Ophoroids on that. Mm hmm. They're all fighting for um, stuff. And then another sponge. I uh, can't quite tell what that is. There's I'll still quite a lot of uh, structure in the Argus sonar, Atalanta sonar. Mm hmm. So there must be another little step up or big step up. This is an interesting. Actually, kind of looks normal. Sure, yeah. Just a quick look at this uh, Chrysogorgid, the spirally one. There you go, ahead and zoom. Very quick. Yeah, so these. Um, Chrysogorgids have all different types of orientations for their branches, and this one just happens to be sticking downwards, which is a bit different. Uh, or actually, yeah, just super long branches, which is something I wanted to look at quick. Um, we should be good here. Thank you. Maybe it's just sort of flopped over because it's so dense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just, right, the, the, yeah, like Steve just said, the diameter of these things is up. Yeah. Really, really neat. Now that Herc is pretty much in front of Atalanta, do we want to move the ship? And at what speed? Definitely slowly. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go fast. We're almost there. Maybe. And then uh, we want to work along that next wall. That's going to be another sort of step upward, I think. So, but maybe move in the direction to bring Argus closer to the wall? Is, a, is that the right direction for the tr track? Uh, let's see. Um. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, that's more southerly. Yeah, the south is probably not great. Wait, Argus is pointing... 225. Oh, okay. So the middle of that 
ridge yeah. there is about 180. If huh. I'm side got it wrong there. Is that right? Um, yeah, I think that's right. Be nice to get to get over to that if you think we could. Yeah, I want to have them try it. Um, if we continue to go like two two zero, we should we should hit part of it, and then hurt can. I just want to get to the features that we see. Mm -hmm. Cheat it a little. Cut, split it in half. Just uh, okay. well, it doesn't hurt to try around the top. <laughs> We're not going to get blown <laughs> into anything. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, uh, two, four. Because that'll bring us closer to the yeah. sort of eastern end and edge of that summit, which would be nice. How about like yeah. two hundred? Yeah. So that's almost south. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. If the ship can't do it, we could zigzag. The art of compromise. Perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Oh, is it going to be all sandy now? I mean, don't jinx it like that. But we'll see. We're going to the ridge. <laughs> yeah, we don't really see the same in the oh, dark there's zone, a yellow, do we? yellow one. No, it's all flat. Mm. I guess it's still 40 meters away, huh? Yeah. Can we, if we're able, can we look at that? That, like, little coral on the rock? Yeah, go ahead, zoom. Um, looks like a paramaricid overgrown with. Uh, oh, I've seen these this. before, the yellow and reddish ones. Yeah, and it has a really funny name. Okay. I think we're good on the zoom. Thank you. All right, full wide. This name is so funny to me, and I want to know who named it and why for the, um, Zoanthids, but give me one second, I gotta find it. That is a great question. Who, like, you know, know what I'm talking about, names? right? Who named oh. the, the Metallica one? Is it Metallagorgia? Is it a Metallica fan, or is it just a, <laughs> yeah, is this a coincidence? I have <laughs> no idea. People like, people love to name things after, it's kind of, it's um, controversial, and um, there's people arguing that things need to not be named after people, which um, I think I saw like an article about it very recently. I didn't get chance to read it but people love to name things after like their PIs yeah. their themselves yeah. <laughs> okay there so there's a uh, squat lobster named else. after Nautilus this year yeah yeah. Wow. yeah oh wow look what's going on down there oh yeah what is that star sea party star? a little uh a little crinoid uh maybe paramaricid can't quite see. It's very easy to be controversial these days. <laughs> um, but the the zoanth that I was talking about, okay, listen to this. This is the species name. Bullagummy zoanthus, mm -hmm. Emily Acad Ac Acadia rum. <laughs> but who says bullagummy zoanthus for a genus? Bullagummy <laughs> zoanthus. <laughs> <laughs> like, what <laughs> is that? <laughs> Emilia Carr. Asked me named after like Carum. their daughter or something, but uh, that's a bit much. Like you're telling me that's supposed to like resemble a Latin <laughs> name? <laughs> what? Publicumia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Bodie McBoak face of yes. corals. <laughs> yes. I mean, if you have free reign, you might as well name it something weird. Because, yeah. I mean, we're not talking about, like, the normal name stuff. No. But that's the, you can't have absolute freedom with anything, right? Remember that Bodie <laughs> McBoat face? If you had a, <laughs> an election in Canada or the United States, we were talking about this the other day, and you had, like, the Republican-Democrat candidate and a cat, the cat would win. Right? <laughs> it would, it would, it would, it would right? totally win. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, there's plenty of cats who are mares in small towns. Yes. <laughs> so there's a lot of current up here. Oh, I see. All yeah. Of a sudden. Wow. Okay. Oh, multiple fish just swimming against the current. Can't quite see where it's coming from. Uh, yeah, well, it's funny because it definitely looks like it's swimming against the current, but it doesn't look like the current. It's not as high exactly down there, maybe. Out of there. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Hey, um, Palosaur, I think. Looks skinny. Looks like it's just like floating. Go ahead and zoom. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Mm. Yep. Hey, buddy. Halosaur. Yep. I think there were two of them. Great. Good, thank you. Is the ship moving? I kind of like this spot for push cores, if you uh -huh. guys would be willing oh, yeah. to attempt. Yeah. Let's try it. We can stop the ship. Yeah. So say we're we actually, we only have 10 meters, so we can just let this finish. Yeah, that's fine. I think we have enough mud to work with. I was about to say, did yeah. they get any push cores when we were deep deep? They, no? They, they tried. They, I was about to say, they um, got two push cores. Um, okay. Is this anywhere here, Dwight? Yeah. I don't know, like, the depth of it. I don't know if it says. Um... Also, to answer someone's question that I'm just seeing in the message uh, chat really quick, they asked, what is the little bit and pieces floating through the water column? All dead or some alive? Um, mostly dead, mostly marine snow, so like detritus from the water column. Um, some of it could be like jelly stuff, small stuff that we're seeing, but mostly dead, you know, bits and pieces of organisms from shallower depths. Yeah. Are any of the cores taken? Oh yeah, uh, they are. Yes, um, two and three. I'm trying to. Yeah, uh, yeah. three. So, so not <laughs> the one closest to the camera, but the two right. after that. Yeah. Who's doing that? <laughs> oh, yeah, good question. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's that's why it kind of threw me off too, because it's like okay. That's Wait. like basically cheating. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Take the ones from the middle and leave the ones on the end for someone else. I mean, there's one more in the middle. Do you want to? So, <laughs> so yeah, from this end, number two and three are done. What can I say? First come, first serve. You know? Yeah. No, it's Doggy bad form. dog world. <laughs> bad form. Like if the Cinnamon Toast Crunch comes out and you get there first, you can't take it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, people will. <laughs> <laughs> they do. It's got to be gone by now. Uh, There's no yeah. way. I think it's I never saw hidden. it. No. Yeah, I saw it. it might still be Are the you the one hiding it? <laughs> God, oh, I'm so bad at this now. I'm going to use the sample salvo for, for old people. It's so hard to like tell which push core is what from like the pay per view to like the. Oh, it's on Grip view. Force 2. That's not helpful. There you go. Oh, this one's coming apart. Uh-oh. Right, Maybe put that's put why that it's put. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why they didn't use it. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, it's getting hot in here. Got the other one somehow now? Oh my god. Hey, Daniel's back. Well, not quite back, yet. Daniel. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, someone said they're tuning in from class in Germany. I hope it's, I hope the stream is class related. <laughs> but hey. This looks like... Yeah, yeah, but I haven't gotten a good I one yet. It's I all, know. It this looks could be, good going this, this in, This right? does look good, yeah. Yeah, but then it's like magic sand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully and not. And I'm pretty... I have to say I'm pretty out of practice with side sidecar push core stuff these days. I haven't... All right. Let's go. And... Oh. Yeah, it's the same old stuff. <laughs> you got a Sarah, pretty good recovery. Yeah. Sample salvo going. One thing to remember, they're they're really only interested in the, the uppermost five centimeters. So as long as there's something like ten left when you put it back in, it's so okay. So this one's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> Relatively. Oh yeah, that's still really full actually. Yeah, it took me. 10 minutes to get it in here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Nice job. Nice. nice. Hey. Lucky. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah, there go. Let's, let's go ahead and get the fifth one since it was so good and so easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> you must struggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they. I didn't notice. I, c I could have ripped the top off it, but it may I feel like the first one, maybe it was coming off, and that's why they left it. Or I just did it. You getting the sample numbers and stuff okay? Yeah. Yes, I am. All right. So how would we would de describe this sand? Mud. This is pretty muddy. It's not really sandy. Got it. Silty mud, maybe. Try to go a, a little bit away from where you took the first one. Sure, yeah. I'm back, everyone. There's some fish like watching what we're doing, like <laughs> right off screen. Well, that's a nice still cam shot. Yeah. I know. It's funny because you just see like the one, like the one fish's yeah. face. <laughs> like, look at it. <laughs> what is going on over here? <laughs> it's like, whoa, now. <laughs> really confused. Mm. Oh, what's 
What's going oh. on? That's funny huh. how that what? one didn't stay and the other one did so well. Oh. Is it the way the suction's working on Where the top? Well, yes, and I actually overdid it. I saw some puff uh, on the top. Did it go so through, yeah. Right. Too much. Or it's a bad... Um, yeah. The things that's go bad, I, too. That's so. what I was thinking, too, yeah. Well, whatever you can get is fine. Probably plenty. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up. I think this oh. one is just crappy. Yeah, maybe. So to say that's not even. Well, yeah, go for it. It. I'll try and take another one on the side. Yeah, true. Um, see if you lose it or not, I guess. Is this an arm on or what? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Long gone. Yeah, if you want to try it near the starboard side. Yeah. to get a better camera on this side that looks straight down, wouldn't it? Yep. Just got a little bit of a guess. Yeah, I think that tube just wasn't yeah. as good as the first one. That's all right. Put it away if you can. And There's the fish. Oh, yeah. Got some, I think. Nice. Yeah, I think he did, too. It just came out the fog like it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's These would like have two separate sample numbers, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's like, what are you guys yeah. up to? I know. Look, can we zoom on the fish face? <laughs> <here>? <laughs> yeah, a yeah, second. Oh, is this the blue lipped one? I can't quite see. I'm not sure what kind this is. Um, it's something. Come closer. Mm -hmm. Come closer. Ever so slowly. <laughs> We have slow. cookies for you. Maybe Come zoom closer. out a bit. A little. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Michael. Hey. Yeah, I think another row fitted. Oh, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. He has a different color on his back there. Is that, his, is that a parasite or is that just this? Um, we have seen parasites on these, but I don't see any um, on it currently. It's just the way it is. Just the way it is. All right. All right you want to cool. get going? Yeah. All right. See if we can finish that move we started a while ago. Uh, so Adelance is basically at the wall, so her can just go swim over there. Oh, good there. idea. Amber. Amber, can I get that still camera back up? Sure thing. Thank you. I don't know what causes that discoloration on its back. Um, old age? I don't know. Or maybe this is like a baby and it's shedding its baby scales? I have literally no idea. <laughs> it 
theologists don't come for me, please. So cute. Bridge video. Yeah, so it's up to 16.3 now, so definitely the time to call him. Sorry, thank you. Temperatures are rising. Temperatures are rising. Gonna have to Sorry, get some parts out of the dishwasher or something now. <laughs> I was gonna say I can. <laughs> I can leave. Don't worry, I can leave. <laughs> um, another umbalula. Another. Umbalula bubble gummis. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, are you, are like you tired tonight? <laughs> it's like you're vocal tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the one you said earlier. Is it, is it getting to you? <laughs> It's only quarter of three it's, in the As I was say, it's, it's not 320 yet, so. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Zoom. He's just getting started. <laughs> yep. Okay. Another one. So Another one. I wonder why. If I they're naming it after Metallica, what else can they There's name it? There's a Metallica <laughs> one. Like, seriously, what else? Twisted is Sister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good here. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm trying to think of like the silliest names I've heard, but the Bala Gummy Zoet, that one comes pretty close. Ooh. Whoa, excuse oh. me. Oh. Um, another Aritagorgia, something small next to it. Maybe a baby one. Can't quite see. I don't know how that. Oh, good. Uh, still can't picture of it actually, so we're good. Jeez, they're everywhere. Another C pen to the left. It's kind of clear. Can we actually look at it real quick? To the left. Yeah, it's it like, like oh geez, it's there? like, you can barely see it. Um, this way. Oh yeah, see it. Ooh, another Metallogorgia. Pretty. Go ahead and zoom. Okay, so, yeah. And I see a... An anemone in the still cam. Oh, that's all right. Another, um, I think Protoptilid is what we called it. Hmm. All right, we're good. Thank you. Okay, full wide. Uh, Steve is giving insight on Metallogorgia. Metallogorgia ah. is named after the metallic luster on the axis. Ah, oh, nonsense. What <laughs> 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 they named it for? <laughs> We know the true intentions. Did you know that there is a species of bee named after Beyonce? No, there's species not. of what? Bee. Bee. The queen bee. Oh yep. my I'm gosh. crying. <laughs> <laughs> and not to mention that species of fungus named after SpongeBob. That yeah. that one we did establish. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. people get pretty creative with their names. Also, didn't you say that that. Uh, wow. Acorn worm is a species oh that's named after Yoda. Cool. Correct. Also, wow, this is gigantic. Yeah. Oh my Holy. gosh. That's wow. a cool one. Could you sure maybe, is. I don't know if you could shift the ROV to the right a little bit so I can get like a nice still cam shot. Oh yeah, yeah. Without that bamboo coral in the way. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. So basic. The wrong <laughs> one. <laughs> so 80s or 90s. <laughs> <laughs> So not S1 clade. Wow. Well, it's good we got a sample of it. Let me. 
Come on, still cam. You can do it. Okay. Oh yeah. That's nice. Oh! Fallen star! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suicide star. Oh, <laughs> oh that's... Falling stars. Falling stars. I like that. All right. We're good here. Thank you. So cool. And I see some of those... Uh, I see some flytrap anemones on there. It's just some little ones. I'm looking in the still cam. Um, that thing is huge. Like, what is so different about this area? Why are you so successful here, you know? Mm hmm Maybe an eDNA sample to help find out? <laughs> we did one. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit sparse here, but, um, yeah, hopefully eDNA samples. In? We still need to get a sure, background why not? One too. Let's remember to do that. Uh, a what? A background. background one. Go ahead and zoom. I still have no idea what you said. I'm sorry. A oh, we need a background Niskin before oh, we leave. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Wow. I feel like we need better ways to label these push cores. I'm assuming so. I to the best of my smaller ability. polyps, obviously, like towards the tip of the branches. They're so they're like smaller and less pigmented, and I'm assuming it's because they're newer. But maybe they're being predated on, or well, at least the you know. Nope. Ends with nothing on it, but uh, all right, we're good. Thanks. So pretty. And now we continue. Oh, that's a actually, can I get a picture really quick of this? Um, this one here, it might be, Steve was saying something about it potentially being something different, so I just want to document it. Which one, the big branching one right in front uh, of us? The one to the left, this one. And actually, yeah. I might have gotten a good enough picture. Go ahead and zoom, or do you want it in the still cam? Uh, it's good, actually, perfect. Just make sure. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Okay, full wide. So yeah, um, those aritagorgia, they're so like the direction of their spirals and also the like diameter of their spirals can be characteristic. So that one was kind of sparse in branches, but also like the way it turned, a little different than what we're, what we've seen before, so that's why I just wanted to get a picture of it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's look at this one. Another heteropolybus, I think. Go ahead and zoom. So this is Antimathus Mathesis. Yes. Is it? Antimathus. Did I get it? Yes. To, yeah, you did. Nice job. <laughs> oh, and a sea cucumber to the right that I can see in the still cam. Oh, Steve wrote it in. Before. Um. Yeah. Good enough picture here. Thank you. If everybody's ready, can move out of the ship like 20, 30 meters. What's this called? Oh, there's yeah, like I guess a so. red pretty sea stretched cucumber out. and they still yeah. can. That's cool. Spiky Come sea cucumber. Can see it? Oh, yeah. It's cool. Different colored one. This looks like a broken coral. Yep, dead bamboo. 
goodbye. <laughs> Probably like one a of those. Pile of sticks. Yeah. Probably one of those. Um, maybe one of those gold ones, but I think they leave a gold. No, I think it is. Yeah. So according to the sonar, we're supposed to be like after the slope, like on more of the flat part. Still looks pretty sloped, but. Don't trust your map. Yeah. Instincts. We're, we're about 50 meters from like the middle of the top. The other thing we've been doing is using old data to pick the dives and make the maps instead of waiting till we collect the new data. Mm -hmm. So this could be misregistered a little bit. That's true. So how do they incorporate the uh, new data into the dive plan? Once we finish our C4 mapping, how quick is the turnaround from taking that data and making a dive plan? Um, pretty quick. Uh, the mapping coordinator, Deb, you know, has to wait till the line gets completed and written to disk, right, before she can pull it into Chimera. So it's got a, the data has to be properly acquired first, and then once that file gets fully written, then you can bring it over to the other software to, uh, layered into the GIS basically and then um, but there's a processing step b before that actually to clean clean the data and make it look uh, you know remove the errors and outliers mm -hmm. yeah I've done some of that before it's yeah very therapeutic <laughs> mm -hmm. wouldn't you agree Cheyenne it is yeah not so much at like 2 a.m. but uh -huh. yeah <laughs> It's an important job. Yep. I think the good news is Nautilus has pretty clean data usually, and uh, it it really depends on the weather conditions. Yeah. Some ships have uh, larger issues with bubbles and whatnot that requires tons of editing. But um, yeah, so once it's cleaned up and pulled in, then you can basically use it but you oh my gosh you have to kind of compare it with the previously <laughs> collected stuff too and determine what's the better data and make sure that it registers all these bamboo properly. corals wow this is a uh, this is incredibly dense pretty why are you doing so well here not a lot of diversity but a lot of uh yeah um, i mean we uh, yeah po you know quantity it seems like these are all closely related to each other, if not the same, but yeah. who knows? Um. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. This looks like the top. Sorry. Oh, yeah. We made it! Oh, good job, guys. Ah, Way okay. to go, yep. team. You think so? We noodled there, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty flat. So Argus is, I mean, Atal Atalanta is just picking up the bottom? No, no, uh, that's, a, that's a rise. Yeah, yeah. There, there, is a, there is a rise in the middle of the top. Sonar oh, it's lie. farther away, okay. Yeah. The map lies. <laughs> the map just doesn't have super super great resolution well yeah so in, instead of going by the map go by the sonar mm -hmm. if you can mm -hmm. to get us to the top but i think it is all it is uh we're almost there by the looks of that yeah. okay All right, well, if that's the case, we definitely want to rock. Um, and one that isn't 
So that doesn't look like it's entirely ferromanganese crust. So have you got to move challenge. in now? Oh, we just finished the move. We can keep going. Yeah, keep going. Bridge now. Can it do 200 or or one, uh, one can't do 180, I guess. Um, we're doing okay with 200. Yeah, 200 is better. That's closer to the eye point there. There's also a um. Yeah. Oriole says no, no south. No. I'll ask him if yeah. we can do 182. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can yeah, we do two twenty? No, don't. On the left. On the left. Going, yep. Yes, it is. I head. think so. Oh yeah, huge. Good eye. Two. He doesn't want to. No, two hundred's <laughs> a little. Two hundred. Too sharp. Too it is right yeah. on the. Loopy, pretty I much just right typed in something yeah. I saw. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and zoom. 222. Big urchin. Oh, and a um, chitin just fell off, I think. Uh, yeah. What's that? What's a chitin? A chitin is a... Um, oh, and a black coral. Okay, cool. Um, a chitin is a, um, a mollusk. Um, I forget the real name for it. Oh, and what is the blue? <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh, guys! It's got little feet. It's an <laughs> amphipod. It has feet. <laughs> hey! That is cool. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Look at that blue color. Yeah. yeah um. Cute. I mean, yeah. Coming oh, so us. this oh, wow. is a look at all the colors. colors. Oh my goodness. You're Some beautiful. Kind of so, commensal polynoid polychaete worm. It is a polychaete, and oh. it is associated with They're this Lord. urchin usually. So, um, if it's commensal, it means that it's benefiting from the urchin somehow, and the urchin is having. There's no harm to the urchin. That was beautiful. Does it like eat the urchin's food, leftovers? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, so. Polychaetes can like stick around on the, I know on the spine sometimes, and just kind of where the poly the urchin moves. But I don't really know what the relationship is here. Um, wow, that's beautiful. I we almost never see blue. I feel like I never see, I rarely see blue no. things. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so. Worm gets protection from from other things because it sits in the spines. Oh. Um, and then maybe the urchin just gets some sort of maybe maybe eats parasites off it. Not sure. Oh, maybe. Steve it just sense maybe it's just a friend. <laughs> uh -huh. But cool. Could it attract things to the urchin who wants to eat the worm? Did you say attract? Hmm. Wait. Yeah, no. like like anemones. In clownfish? Um, I don't think so. But who knows? It's cool though. Um, it's cute. It's hiding from. Can us. we look to a rock, just very briefly to the right? I thought I saw a chitin fall off, but yeah, I saw that too. Okay. Some, like oval shaped thing. Oh, it's yeah. Still yes. It's still there. Where is it? It's got its tummy up. Um. Oh. It yes. might just be. Um, a polyplacophora, that's the family I was looking for. But it's, yeah, that like little cylindrical thing, yellow. And I feel like that's its underside, but I don't. Hmm. Maybe? It's like down here. Yep. Um. It's yeah. Like a clump of sand. <laughs> no, that's. Mm -hmm, I think yeah, that's. Did a it fall? And it then did. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Oh, no, maybe oh. we're helping it because it got stuck. Yeah. 
So it's something. <coughs> can do it. Oh wow, now it's down there. Look oh yeah. Upside it's down. Uh huh. Yep, that's a chitin. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh. 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 Look at those legs. Oh my gosh, it looks like gold confetti. What? That's wild. That's beautiful, actually. That might be just a polychaete. I don't know what though. That's beautiful. Wow. So it looks like it has like a curly antenna or something. So that I, this is a polychaete actually, not a chitin. Or maybe it's a mollusk. No, Co I think it's mm -hmm. polychaete. Covered in sand though, yeah? Yeah. Yep. So don't know what it was doing, but. Um, Want to slurp it up? <laughs> No, I don't think we need it, unfortunately. But it's pretty. What's um, that on the other side of that rock there? Yeah, I was probably hanging out, eating stuff off the rock. It's so cool to see two worms in one, one frame, basically. But all right. Okay, we're good. Well, so, can before we do another ship move, mm -hmm. can you just? I'm a little confused by the reflections we're seeing in Argus sonar, which seems to be uh, sort of to the southeast. Yeah. And um, well, we're kind of it's going only about by it because we're only able to do 220. Yeah. So we're, mi we're missing it, huh? Do two, um, so can we, we can go, zigzag. We can, za we can go the other way, right? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. like what? Uh, 120 or something? Uh, or maybe better? 80, let's see, 45, 225. <laughs> Oriel says 120 is acceptable. <laughs> exact words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. Can we go sharper than that towards south? Like, well, if you do 120 for a little bit, then, then back, <laughs> yeah. back up at Two at uh, two hundred, you'll maybe get there, right? Yeah. Can Cheyenne, you understand what we're trying to do, Cheyenne? Yeah. Um. Can Can Herc like just make it to the wall well, with the tether? Well, it's only thirty-five meters long. That's not okay. We can go toward it, but I mean, you won't you won't go up and over it. Mm. We have time. I, we're yeah. not like yeah. rushing for any reason, so I just like to get up to it. Oh, I love worms. So cool. What's your favorite kind of worm? Um, I don't think I have one. They're all cool. Even earthworms? Um, maybe those are my <laughs> less favorite. <laughs> they're cool. They're just not as pretty. <laughs> but they're fun to fish with. Well, I don't fish, but yeah, true. Very true. Fishing's fun. Sure, there's a lot of fishing down there in the Schuylkill River in Philly. There is, actually, yeah. I've never gone, but my friend loves to fly fish. I don't get it. Fly fishing is kind of difficult because it's, awesome. it's easy to get that. It's easy to get that fishing line tangled. When I tried it, at least. Right. But there's a technique to it. Once you get it, it seems pretty interesting. Yep. Um. What? So how do we normally yep. gauge? Yep. Sorry. Let me just. How do we normally gauge when we want to take a background niskin? I don't know how those work. Oh, um, it's it's just got to be not near okay, coral not near aggregations. Stuff. Oh, yeah. like a, it's like yeah. a control. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's say I, I didn't know what that meant. Halosaur. And a bunch of bamboo. Sometimes we just grab it on our way up at 10 meters or okay. something. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but we often forget. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I see some sea cucumbers in the background. So on this dive, we went on our deepest dive so far, about 3,100 meters. We have ascended to about 1,822 meters up to the top of the seamount. And so we're finding a lot more diversity of corals and life up here. Mm -hmm. Even that there's a lot more current carrying nutrients, so it seems. Yeah, this is generally the I believe it's 1800 to to 2000 range is like the sweet spot for corals. Yes. Or I think it's actually maybe even more shallow than that, but um, generally the deeper you go, the less density you'll see. And this is kind of like the depth for them. Question, is there a way for us to know how the cups are doing? On the mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was I don't think the same so. Thing. I'm excited to see, to see it them though. Out. It's like um, y you want it to be like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no peaking. I used to always. Peak. We don't want you to be disappointed <laughs> either. <laughs> so Dwight, when is the next uh, next dive schedule? Do you know? Um, yeah, we're talking about it. Uh, it, we need to do about another 20 to 24 hours of mapping. Okay. Oh, we um, have a crawly. We have a big transit. So it'll most likely be tomorrow morning. Okay. And then we want to do one a dive Thursday and a dive Friday. Cool. And I don't know the durations yet. It'll all depend on... We, one's going to be deep, one's going to be shallow. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll have one last laser dive bot. Right. I don't know which will which is which will be when yet. It's a crab thing. Yeah. Will those crab. be the last dives? With Go ahead and yeah, those will be the last dives. You want to zoom on this uh, yes, coral please. coral thing maybe? What oh, oh I was thinking more the crab. The crab, <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. The corals can wait. They don't move. <laughs> but this this one on the move. Places to be. Late for work. Got to make money. Gotta feed the kids. He's all about his money. Yeah. <laughs> He's gotta go work at the Krusty Krab. Ooh. Big antennae on this this one. Um Yeah, Steve, I'm looking at the same thing. After the crab, I want to look at whatever that yeah. is. Um, but after the crab. Are you going to stay there? Oh, my God. Looks like some sort of king crab. Can you come down a few more meters? Can't quite see it, though. Actually, spider crab. Um, go ahead and zoom. Actually, that looks like a hermit crab with no friend. Hmm. But um, I can't. Yeah, it is missing a leg. Actually, oh, um, nope. No, I think that's a. King crab. Regardless. God almighty. Um if the okay. autos just aren't doing it or is it the hydraulics? No, it's it's uh we're just on all kinds of lumpy rocks here. Yeah. And the autos are Yeah, I wanna say the this auto is heading was le left on. One, two, three. Does it have its eaters up or am I just not seeing them? Um, okay, I'm gonna go with 
uh, some sort of king crab. But yeah, let's look at that base. Okay, zoom in. Yeah, it looks like it just tipped over. Boy, that's oh, yeah. a large base though, huh? Whoa. Yeah, that was really cemented. That, is that rock? Yeah, so maybe the rock flaked off or something. I was just grew onto a, not a very substantial rock, you know? I'd love to see huh. what the laser shows. You want to pick it up? Um, hold on. I don't know if it tells us a whole lot. The rock's not very interesting. Um, he, so Steve is asking about the laser dive bot. Yeah, we, um, if we collected it, we could measure it on deck, yeah. Okay. So, let's... Let's grab so, it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We have a wide pick it up. Um... It's so unique, you could double it up with something else. Yeah, um, we have a C pin in Omega. Uh, um, um, like I said, we have that Lord, Lord. <laughs> Is that yeah, it could go in with large the, that's where rock. you put the mesh uh, bag too, I think. But that, that has stuff in it though. Oh, it does? Yeah, it has squishy stuff. What? That big squishy ball. With in the, the scoop? Yeah, no. right? What no, was that moved? That got slurped up. Oh my gosh, you're right. Um, okay. The only thing with the scoop is the pink bamboo one coral. coral. Yeah, okay. and that, one that coral. was in the front, so we could put this yeah. in the back. Okay. Okay. Yep. So where's it going? Uh, front. On top of the mesh bag. Yeah. Okay. And lamp up. What is, is this a coral stock, sponge stock? Basically, yeah. <laughs> one or the other. It's For lack like a, of better terms, it's a piece yes. of yeah, ferromanganese crust with a it's a very large base base of a yeah. okay something on it. And this is a 172. Yes. We're gonna need some more uh, sample logs. Oh wow. Yep. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Huge. Looks like a chicken foot. <laughs> okay, I actually have a out. video of myself holding a chicken foot, not gonna lie. Oh, that's good. <laughs> they I've eaten them before, they're not bad. Oh, yeah, try to keep that coral in there. I think yeah, I think you can be separated. Wow. If you could put it towards the back of the bin. bigger than it looks. Okay, box out a bit more. It is bigger than it looks. Mm. More. Okay. Perfect. There's a oh yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right, close. Yay. Got Easy. It. Was there nothing in Omega there? There's uh, something yeah, in there. There's a C pin in there. Oh, cool. Yeah. A little too fragile. All right, nice. Um, Beautiful, good, good catch, good catch. We said this is a Okay, the um the ledge we're looking for looks like it's right in front of Atalanta. Let's just continue 120. Yeah, go ahead.
Ooh, a big, um, I forget the name of that anemone, but that's a very specific anemone. Um, huge, huge anemone. You wanna yeah. zoom on it? Yes, Sure, please. quick one. Go ahead. Ooh, look at the sea star. Oh and there's gosh. a little shrimp. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Large. All right, we're good. Very big. I'll get that uh, ID yeah. in a second. Four. Sorry, my guide is slow. Bigger than my hand, I think. Yes, that one is large. Are these uh, venomous at all to humans? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Usually it's the urchins you gotta be careful about. Oh yeah, actinosol actinosolid. Actinosolid. Oh wait, no. Ignore me. Shout out to the folks in the chat who are from Philly. Welcome aboard. From where? Philadelphia. <gasps> hey. Yep, that's where my up? mom is from. That's where I live. <laughs> there was also, I think, a chat that said someone from Birmingham. Birmingham. No. Nope. Birmingham, Bir Alabama. There we go. No, yeah, that's not too far from me. Big old outcrop right here. Nice little assemblage of more bamboo. And some, one primnoid I just saw. Actually, these are primnoids. Uh, oh, bamboo's taking a step up. It's nice now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's that on that bamboo? Is that an enemy or a brittle star? Um, That is a sea star. Okay. On the end of that coral. Munching on it, bro. Oh, yeah, actually, can we get a look at that? Yeah. Um, and maybe get a look at its, like, central area? Because I think we might be able to see it, like, eating if we look really close. Its stomach outside of its... Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Go ahead and zoom. Sorry, Loopy, I finally put the thing in for the... Yeah, check Whoa, that out. Whoa, it's that's eating. Crazy. Oh yeah, look at those guts. Look That's at how huge. much is gone, and it's <laughs> live at the end, and he's just working his way up. It's munching away. Yeah, so this is a bamboo, another bamboo coral being taken out by a sea star. Don't know what type of sea star, but a sea star. And you can see that its organs are out because it kind of just like regurgitates. <laughs> Steve said all you can eat buffet. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, um, Try to frame it up on the still camera too. This oh is yeah, nice that'd be shot. Yeah. nice if you're able. Are you done with the video? Does yeah, I think we're good. Full wide on that. Was so that ID that you put for the? That's um, the anemone. Okay. Also, what is zooming around? So I'm gonna go <laughs> what is that? Picture. Oh, it looks like a Tina four. Oh, it is. It is. Ooh, pretty. Hey. It hey. moves so quick. Oh, great. Perfect. Makes All you wonder right. how that big sea star gets up there. All right, there. we got it, Michael. We're good. good. Thanks. Beautiful shot. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, one. good shot. Good it's shot. Looks like there's an urchin back there. Good work. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. We'll have that picture up in the gallery of some, at some point. Um, but, yeah, um, that's actually... How, how long it's taken them to eat that entire stock. I have no idea. I would assume they're kind of fast, but... Yeah, that's some sort of an enemy down there. I think we've been seeing that quite a bit. Gonia Starid Star, yep. Mm -hmm. That was awesome to see. I feel like I'm like checking off my bucket list of things to see in the deep sea in the past couple days, which is wild. Oh, look 
okay? Years consuming it. Years yeah. to eat a coral. Wow. Wow. They're you slow. Go, yeah, because you can go back to the same spot and look, <laughs> see it there years later. And see if it gets bigger. <laughs> it's oh just going to weigh it down like a, oh, yeah. an apple growing that on a tree branch. That is such a cool picture. It is kind of amazing that skinny little stalk holds the weight. I know. Yeah. Animal, you know? They're strong. They're really strong. The corals. Yeah. I mean. yeah. That's kind but of look, a good deal. Look at deal. how his, the stalk is going right down that. I know, right? It's um, like its whole branch. arm is gripping the yeah, branch. Like mm -hmm. Amazing. It's really cool. What were you saying, Jayanne? Uh, it's a good deal for the starfish. Just Very good deal. Just have to find one home and then... <laughs> Maybe we did make it to the top, I guess. It was a little <laughs> There's well, only well. a tiny bit left. You know, yeah, it was a little yeah. deceiving in, our, in uh, Atalanta how much more there was here. And also looking at this image of, sorry to keep going back to the sea star, but looking at this image of the sea star eating, it's eating one, two, three, four branches. Wow. <laughs> at the so. same time. <laughs> Are the arms themselves eating it, or is it all like the center? It's going like through its that's organ eating there. it. So yeah, what the um, what sea stars do is they have a system. Actually, let me just Google myself because I forgot. I forgot to take out my iPad with all the information. But basically, they use their arms to bring in all the food towards their stomach. Um. Uh, let me just make sure. All right. Well, I'm yeah. getting mm -hmm. more and more. Uh, I guess there's a little bit farther to go on this rise. So the yeah the maybe the yeah. map is accurate because that's where we're at now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we we are in the center according huh. to the map. How about that? You want to look for a possible rock sample here, or I do. You want to pick, <laughs> pick it, Loopy? How'd you know? Oh gosh, um, <laughs> there's a bunch of good-looking ones. Yeah, they all look. Rocks here are cool because um, we're at the highest peak, so it didn't fall down from some other location. So these rocks are mostly emplaced where they were formed. You know. And so we want a nice angular looking one, and they're all looking pretty angular. A lot of them are looking angular. So not like the crusty stuff where the lasers are now, but mm -hmm. these more angular blocks. And we want one that's um, maybe twice the size of the width of the lasers. Probably something in this area makes sense, yeah. maybe. Something in this area? Sure. Is this a loose one with the whatever it is grown on it? We could get a two for sample. That's is that mm. huge? Oh, that's huge. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> is what it space the do we um, have? Just this. We ha it's D, so it's got to be a small one because okay. oh, we really? only have D. Um. So yeah, um, maybe one of the small ones within that area somewhere. How about that one? Uh, it's still it's hard to get in there. Yeah, is it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of options around here, so. <laughs> hmm. Looking for those angular canagopes again? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the condensation. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's still there. 
Mm. I feel like there's a couple little ones in the yeah down to the right too. At the yeah, bottom. there's lots of them. I yeah. think there's been getting more of them. Yep. <laughs> Look at those USBL fixes. Uh. How's the DVL doing, by the way? Better? No errors, right? Yeah, D DVL is fine. Um, Sonar Dime was not happy there for a second, but I don't think there is any alarms. Just looked at it. Is the vehicle on DVL? Yeah. Is the uh, all over the place with the auto XY? Seems like it's on USBL. Um, it should be. Yeah. Let's. Uh, you want to zoom on, zoom on some DVL. of these in front of us? Sure. Look for the. For the fun of it. Associates, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll okay. see some of those coraliferous jellies or something. Yeah, like these, so these two. Hey, oh. Uh, Go ahead and zoom. So this is a primnoid. Nope, bamboo, sorry, bamboo. But you can very clearly see like the difference in branching between the two, which is awesome. But yeah, still seeing the same brittle stars, same ophiroids, waving in the wind. Maybe some predation happening, or maybe, I don't know, something. Looks pretty, pretty healthy. There's Overall, the, oh, very oh, there's healthy, one, yeah. One, uh, you could, okay, full wide. So that's a bamboo? Correct. Yeah, yeah you, you can tell. Them. Yeah, you can tell it mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. The brittle star is unraveling. Looks like they're gonna fall. Mm-hmm. What was this other one over here? That looks like a hydrozoan growing on it, colonizing the uh, dead skeleton. Can we take another look at this larger boulder on this side? What was on that like the whole the large the whole feature you mean yeah i was just saying if we had looked at the whole thing if there were any other corals i gotta kind of take this little oh right on yeah, yeah if you don't have much tether then we can worry back about up it. the ship <laughs> if you want to look at that boulder I think we may have sort of seen it all, but we could just document this is the yeah. high the high point of the sea <laughs> mount. <laughs> the kings of the hill. Crisis Gorgid. Not sure if it's Crisis or Stellata. I never know. Did we do that other Niskin? I can't remember. Yeah. We we did. We okay. just did one. Sorry. Yeah. We could do a background miskin with the uh, time we, we have should left. maybe wait. Is on this that? the starfish we looked at earlier, or oh. is that a different one? <laughs> um, a different one I, I think. think it's probably the same. But can we look at this oh. more closely? Yeah. Not really. Can we just move the ship over here? Yep. Yeah. If you want to poke around over here, it's kind of intolerable. Yeah, I think that's a black coral. Yeah, we could look at these um, sea stars as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is the most Come samples down, we've uh, had. Five meters. Right. Um, probably. We have twenty-two so far. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be an interesting processing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. It's yes. gonna be quite fun. Yeah. All hands on deck. And for those of you who will be curious about what our work entails, well, you can check out our, our wet lab cam. Lilipathies, maybe? Oh. Sorry, Daniel. You're okay. 
Yeah, once we recover the ROVs, we'll be taking our samples. Is that a black coral? Just had to wait a minute to uh, bounce the in there. Wow. Yep. So looks like Lilipathies to me, a black coral. Um haven't really been seeing those, so cool to see that no, here. No, not much, really. Uh, we can keep going. Uh, Dwight, you want to look at the sea stars? Yeah, I wanted to look uh, at the <coughs> buffet <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> yeah, there's, they're set. It's easy. It's, there's some cute little squat lobsters at the bottom of the sea. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh, oh. Bandaged. that was... He just finished. Oh, wow. That was violent. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left. Like, <laughs> that was like seeing someone like just massively <laughs> face play on the side. Well, he is stuffed, man. He's <laughs> had, had a lot cool. to eat. <laughs> That's a... We've altered the history of the region. <laughs> and they're eating for years and then like thrust or wash. <laughs> it's like, man, I got to take another year to get back up there. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Slower than snails. That was like painful. We've seen so many things like dive head first into rock today. I mean, luckily you didn't go over it. Oh, uh, I think pretty. Edge. That's awesome when you see that happening. Mm -hmm. Do they have any sense of what's going on with this like crazy noise maker thing? That's quite a current right there. Yeah, there's a lot of current. Mm. Yeah, if we can't really yeah, get in there, it's hard. Yeah, I think there's definitely moisture in this camera. This is a good yeah. dive. It, oh. the watch went by pretty fast. I think feel like. Yep. Agreed. Another eaten black coral. Yep. Lots of dead. Oh yeah, and that's also black coral right in front of us, that kind of whiter one. Or is it? Actually, I can't tell. Yeah, it is. Is the ship still coming toward us? Yep. Still making its way. Video watch change. Hey, Brian. Hey. All right. And uh. our watch change is beginning. So if we go off, that's why.
And so we officially turned over our four, uh, 12 to 4 watch to our 4 to 8 watch. So this is the 12 to 4 watch signing off. I'll see you all later. Good morning, front row. Good morning. Good morning. Waiting for my coffee to kick in. Are we going anywhere, Brian, or am I yeah. good to look around? Uh, yeah, you're free to look around. I mean, let's look around for a minute. I think they right. did a pretty good job of looking around here before we took over, but let's orient ourselves on what we're seeing. And then I think broadly, let's probably continue to the southeast for maybe 50 meters. Southeast. Okay. Um, and then drop down a little bit further to the southwest on the backside of this um, local high, and then backtrack across the entire ridge. Um, so if you look at high pack, like just kind of continue this to check out the summit, swing down maybe one tether link to the southwest, 
and then come back um, towards the northwest uh, for the rest of the dive and then probably uh, aim to leave the bottom sometime around 7, I think is what Dwight and I um, were discussing. If it's awesome still at 7, we can delay a little bit after that. Can you come... Uh, I know I suddenly have 0.7. You've been twisting around up there? Get all that, Lynette? And you lost me at southwest or southeast. South, southeast? Southwest. South. Nope. Nope. No, let's, let's see if there's a. I want to go a little bit further to the southeast before southeast, we start. Yeah. He yeah. lost me at southeast. Okay. That's, that's enough for now. All Sorry. Right. Rain still. <laughs> let's, let's do about 50 meters to the southeast and whatever yeah, steps I got you're that comfortable part. with. 50 meters southeast. South, east, Ren, are you listening? <coughs> Look southeast. I'm fighting, no, I'm fighting the current here. Sorry. Come down five meters now. I got myself sorted out. Wow, getting myself sorted out. all bamboos? I think so. Um, actually, yeah. Dan, just going, I just saw it, but going off the top left, there's one that's being taken over by zoanthids. I'd like to yeah, take a quick that. look at up there. I was ignoring it. <laughs> the current. You can look uh, due south for a minute while we play around here. Uh, that's good there. Okay. Good, good. Uh, talking about the guy back in there? Yes. All right. for a zoom because we're far away and uh, seem to be fighting the thing this morning. Probably because I'm not awake yet. Okay, Daryl, zoom in on the far distant. You want to see where it Transfer is or? No, I'm actually more interested in the anthids. I'm trying to figure out if it's Kamula Mana Mana. Um, All right. How about focus? You want to focus on the yellow one in the background? All right, that's probably all I need. We can take a look at that closer, thanks. And while we're here, let's get a good zoom on the, the can we rack focus to the one in the front too. All right here. Um, is that one that we're looking at in the front and close enough to grab a snip of it? Sure. Look 
with those nodes. Yep. <laughs> Big, beautiful nodes. So we're look we're sitting here looking at a um, a bamboo coral or a, a isididae, um, and they're um, known for their are named because they have these uh, proteinaceous black nodes in their skeleton. Um, and sorry, just, uh, like just real quick, Brian, yep, do we have any or for uh, Chris? Do we have any place to put it? You're uh, sorry, you're I right. didn't I didn't copy you there. Uh, yeah, we can put it on top of one of the rocks in either of the back starboard bio boxes. Right here. Okay, go ahead, Brian. Sorry. Uh, that's fine. I just want to make sure we had a place to stash it. Yep, right. we've got about, we can take about two more biological samples this group, uh, this uh, dive, including this one. All right. Steve, this is the bamboo you wanted, right? Just to confirm, I'm running a little slow this morning, too. Um, yep, this is... Go wide for a second, there. Okay. Yeah, just that whole lower branch would be great. Okay, you can zoom in a bit more there. Come down a few meters for me. Why are you moving, Herc? Thing, eh? Yeah, please. I've been being too conservative on sample sizes and we're having trouble splitting up sub sampling them enough in the lab. We gotta get bigger pieces. That should be good. I don't need like the exact whole thing, that's good. Thank you. Moving target. Uh, you said on top of the rock in the back, eh? Yep, either one. Where, uh, in the big box? Yep, that'll work. Hold on, not quite there yet. I don't know what's, we don't want to lose samples out of there, it's probably full of... One of the thrusters it might float. Sample one seven five. Oh, damn the uh, back bio box. Sorry. Back bio box, Roger. Yeah. That's the divider. Okay, close them up. Dave recording all this interlace video to the Triclops is killing my camera.
causing it to go jittery. Yeah, so my goal here is I kind of wanted to see how far to the southeast this kind of high density patch runs. All right. Uh, so when we run out of corals, we'll stop going this direction. So if you're just joining us, we're uh, diving this kind of deep ridge um, type seamount. Um, almost all the other seamounts we have visited, I think all the other seamounts we have visited this expedition have been geos or flat or table mounts, um, having these big flat uh, summits with steep sides. But this one is a more elongate, ridgy feature um, with that starts out pretty deep um, and comes up to where basically where we are at the summit, plus or minus. Uh, 20, 30 meters from where we are right now at 1,800 meters. Um, and uh, this was our deepest dive of the expedition and the third deepest dive ever conducted um, around this part of uh, the United States. And we've seen a really wide range of diversity um, as we've come up. I'm feeling the 320 curse. You see the two spots on that? Yeah, the I know. There? I'm wondering if they're... All right, stay there. It's not very good, but it might work. Should I put that in the log? Yeah, sure. Kay. I've been looking at it, trying to decide if it's droplets or not. Yeah. Or if it's some debris we kicked up and it just got stuck there. So a lot of them are loose. Which yeah. one do you want to try first? Go for it, Loopy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe right next to the lasers. It looks pretty good. Okay. Good choice. Ah, oh, 15 centimeters, maybe. Not too bad. Nice catch. My first rock. Good job. <laughs> Your pet rock. <laughs> Congrats. You need Google eyes for it. You get to cut it tomorrow, too. Oh, yay. <laughs> you get to see its guts. Make sure I'll... Uh, I'm too Let's short for the, I'm too the I'm kind of short for the cutter though. I have we'll to get like, you a stool. I have we'll to like okay. really lean over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a step stool. <laughs> got it, got it. <laughs> we'll get you one too, Sarah. All good for the. Pictures? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, it like hurt my shoulder the one time, for like <laughs> a couple. Gonna get up out of here. It's after. Put it away somewhere else. Maybe yeah. Lumpy there. Get back out in front. Oh, all these samples. <laughs> God bless you. Bless you. They said that's about There's one last seconds. little bit of a rise over here.
Okay, I'm gonna go sample tray out. I think we'll put, uh, this is starboard side. Yeah, or that's what I, there you go. starboard box. AKA sample tray. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and which one is it going in? D. D? Yes. If it will fit. Swish. Coming in. Nice. Kobe. This is uh, 173, right? Uh, yes. Sorry. Okay. Awesome. Well, it's 20 samples already this dive. Yeah. yeah I think we're. I think we did. We should start max. All right. Sample tray is closed. Roger. Okay. Um, do we want to keep chasing see. what's ever in Atalanta's camera or sonar? Uh, what's the direction? That is 120. Um, yeah. that's kind of... Yeah, why not? Okay. There's not much there, though. That's pretty low relief. Yeah. It's just a little bit uphill, that's all. But there might be a little different flow there, who knows? So we have some questions coming up in the chat and keep them coming. So how do you get a job like ours? So that's a great question. So uh, you can come from uh, many different backgrounds to work aboard the Nautilus. If you're interested in opportunities, you can go to our homepage and under the About tab, you can click on Employment Opportunities or Join. And there are opportunities for scientists to come aboard as well as educators and students. So we have internships that we offer to ocean science and engineering, as well as uh, navigators for those who are in the Coast Guard and Naval Academies. And we even have video engineer internships, people to work on board and help with their videos. Our science communication fellowship is where I am, and I am speaking to you all today as an SCF. And it's a professional development program that empowers educators to connect with students and audiences all around the world. And we also have opportunities for people to oh, work on ships. Oh, hold on, ship sorry. Crew. Can we go the, that way? There's something floating. That looked really weird. <laughs> it looked like Pac-Man almost. I mean, like a Pac-Man ghost. <laughs> oh, is it gone? I'm sorry to interrupt, Daniel. No, you're okay. I was pretty much finished anyway. Which camera did you see? Oh, then? it's gone. That oh, that's was it. so that's odd. It. Oh, the right, there it is. Oh, the right there side. It. Oh, yep. <laughs> good I don't catch. Know why I point. Like anyone's <laughs> good catch. It's glowy. It is. Bioluminescence. Maybe not. It's just good. Um. Uh, that's good. It's a Tina, Tina four. four. <gasps> wow. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, that's beautiful. So cute. Wow. Does oh. it look like it's glowing or is it just shiny? No. So it's I yeah. know. well, it does have what do you call it? Bye, buddy. Um the uh, what do yes. you call the little hairs that mm -hmm. reflect? So it's that's it's it's comb rose. It has um I don't I can't remember if it's cilia or what. Um I think it's cilia. Yeah. yeah. Um but they beat in these rows for locomotion, um, and they're really pretty and iridescent. Yeah, iridescent. Yeah. Thank you. That's not. There it's you not, go. It's not fluorescent. All right, full yeah. wide. So this is the top of the hill. Okay. Cool. 
Where's the giant coral? We, we're the... Candelabra. It is cilia. Okay, cool. And they, and most of them have eight, eight rows that beat. So I was kind of hoping to hand it off to the next watch at a <laughs> position like this, but we sort of have another 20 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> um, I would say just let's keep, let's kind of do a circle around here if we can and document it well and take some zooms. Yeah. And uh, then so I think the next watch will take us to the next, next hill to the west. And that'll be it for the dive. And um, good quick addition about Tina Force. Some do have, some can be bioluminescent, but oh, not really? sure if that. Yeah, not sure if that one was. It all depends on what you eat. It's funny. Usually. A lot of these stalks don't look uh, look so good. Maybe uh, there's been a lot of sea stars here. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the sea stars though? Disappeared eating somewhere. Moved maybe, on. Maybe they were all eaten by that one fat sea star. <laughs> 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 it's been here for a thousand years. <laughs> he prefers the term stout. <laughs> so Dwight, somebody in the chat sent in a very interesting paper. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah? From the National uh, Institute of Health, alpha radiation from polymetallic nodules and potential health risks from deep sea mining. Oh. About um, like the nodules that we pick up in the ocean floor may contain mm -hmm. our alpha uh, radiation. Yeah, like radioisotopes. So it's something interesting you might have to be wary of. A lot of rocks do. Yeah. <laughs> So Makes sense, though, from the deep sea, the accumulating so many different minerals, especially uh, heavy radioactive yeah, ones. Yeah, they have uranium, I mean, naturally occurring, you know. Does that mean I'm going to get cancer from rock cutting? I don't think so. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you have to be exposed I know, to quite a lot of it. Many times, yeah. We should be okay. But that's what PPE is for, personal protective equipment. Well, not as interesting as I was hoping. So, <laughs> so what bummed. do you think, Sarah? Should we what a, move, look move at all on? These. Or, I know. What do you mean? <laughs> well, but they're I know, they're I know. not they're like similar. they're yeah. not magnificent. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> this one is. Let's go look at that one. Oh, yeah. the Aritagorgia gets all the all the clean. Yeah, I know. Um, no, it's cool, but yeah, just not not a huge amount of diversity that we can at least see you know um there's a bunch of different there's probably a bunch of different like bamboo here oh hi asako um but who knows whether they're the same species or not they're most likely not because of how deep sea corals work um but there's a huge assemblage here at least yeah. which is awesome Oh, it's right on the end of our leash. That's all good. Niskin worthy? Um, Terrible probably zone. actually. Yeah. If yeah, if we can get somewhere comfortable. Do you want me to move the ship closer? If we want to wait for the zoom on the coral. Well, sure. I, I think we're good. Generally. So the Niskin is this uh, uh anywhere Niskin or or is it uh, try to get yourself near near some diverse assemblages of coral. So not just where Maybe just somewhere in like the middle yeah. of where we were. Yeah. In there. I think. Yep. Yeah, I think around here is good. 
Hey, Cheyenne, how far away is that next, um, to the west, the next m mound? Yeah. Yeah, uh, 280. That's right to here? the waypoint, and then um, there's another. Yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah, I mean. To 5B over here, like across the whole yeah, thing, this it's is good. Uh, 668. Okay. So that might be able to hold the mower for two hours if they stop a lot. Um, Sarah, are we still kind of like seeing the same biodiversity from the like the last knit skin, or is it like? Uh, new? correct. Okay. I'll I'll type it. I would say because I could just get the sheet. Or yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's not quite the same. Hold on. Okay. Well, you could type it. Out. Oh, wait. Uh. I think that's all I've seen for now. I'll update it if I see any more around. Got it, got it. Um, a lot of bamboo, but I mean, it could be it could be really interesting because like, realistically, if the eDNA works as it should, and we get a bunch of different eDNA from different individuals, they could have a lot of individual differences that then lead us to um, you know. Uh, going for number four. All right. How many slurp, empty slurp chambers do we have? Um, we it. have one and two left. Okay. Did you get this? Oh. 